called LRC. It is called LRC because LRC stands for the Learning Resource Center. The space doubles up for a lot of things beyond just getting physical books. You also have tutoring, you also have the writing center, you also have the language lab, so you have different type of things that support the students. It's still a place where students can come and, and find information. It's a place to study, and it also is a place where students can come um, to get help to navigate that wide open internet, learn how to evaluate resources. When a student comes in, the best thing for them to do is go to the reference desk and tell us what they need, and then we will take it from there. My first job working in a library was as a retro conversion cataloger. My job was to take the information that was printed on little catalog cards and transfer that information into a computer so that instead of going to a card catalog, you can actually look it up on a computer. Basically, we still do the same things. We collect information, we make it available, and we try to connect the information with the students. That hasn't changed. We do have what we call the reference session with students, and students can make appointments and spend 30 to 45 minutes session one-on-one -on -one with librarians. And they get to find out about how to access resources, how to get those resources cited. What we're trying to teach the students is all about credibility of the sources, the authority of the sources, and those are the types of resources that we have in the library, whether it be the physical or the virtual. Librarians are here, not only do we have access to all this information electronically and at your fingertips, but it's at no cost. I think there's an author out there who says, you can Google and get a million results, or you can see a librarian and get the right result. I just love the energy of the students. I love being in this environment. I love the college atmosphere. I like the variety of questions they ask, and it's not always what you think it is. You have to delve into the student's assignment maybe a little bit deeper and come up with another set of resources for them that they might not have known that they were looking for in the first place. A lot of the students here just either they haven't had any type of idea like outside of Google or Wikipedia. So when a professor first sits them with, okay, we have their research paper and you need like scholarly articles, a lot of them are like, what's that? That was something that stumped me when I was a student. Anybody can post anything online. So as a librarian, you're able to distinguish like, okay, this is what's part of this. You should look for these things. And, you know, learning that can help you like moving forward. There's about 60,000 books up here. All these authors that are talking to you, waiting for you to discover them. So it's really a place of discovery for me and I'm hoping for the students as well. One of the things that I love about the space, I love about the library, is that it gives us space to make connection with our students. Students who come into the library and get help from a librarian oftentimes have higher GPA than students who don't. So we're helping students succeed academically so that they complete their degrees. So we're really excited about the work that we do.